Hello everybody and welcome back to He Makes Me Play. I am Marius and I am blind and that's why I make other people play video games. And today I am here with Vincent. Hello Vincent. Hi Marius. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? <laughs> yeah, me too. I can't wait to go to a depressing fishing village. Because <laughs> uh, yeah, that's where we last we were last time in Disco. Yeah. Um, we were exploring the fishing village and we were trying to uh, con people basically to signing a contract for Everett. At least that's what Everett thinks we're doing. Yeah, we have so far decided not to do it yet. Unless. Yeah, we. I mean, we clearly don't want to do it, but we might have to, to solve the case and get our gun. We'll see, but we will do everything we can to find a better solution. Is that right, Vincent? Yeah, and yeah. We, have, we have options at the moment where potential better solutions will present themselves. Well, so, okay, here's what I see we can do. Maybe you also have suggestions. Mm -hmm. uh, there's another person I think we have to talk to. We should talk to right. that person first. There is this abandoned building, whatever, I don't quite remember, mm -hmm. <laughs> that I think is maybe the plot where Everett wants to build this thing, but I don't Possibly. know. Possibly. We can explore that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there's the wild card of other stuff in the fishing village. And right. then there is the possibility to do a red check to forge the signature and basically bullshit Everett into telling him we completed the task. Yeah. And then the two other things that are in this area, I would say, are the church, which we could explore. I don't see oh, yeah. how, how that would directly impact the Everett thing. No, but, but I absolutely want to go there. And then we're still looking for the cryptozoologist. There is the cryptozoologist, and there's also the power plant. So, in short, right, there's the like plant. shit loads in the fishing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe it's not so depressing <laughs> after all. Uh, maybe I was wrong. But, well, yeah, let's get into it. Let's yeah. just walk around and click buttons exactly what I'm going to do. So yeah. we are standing next to this woman we talked to last time and mm -hmm. we already explored the house like directly above her, north of her, and then there's another shack um, west of her mm -hmm. and there are buttons to click. The street sign is illegible below the graffiti. Okay, there's a street sign on the house apparently. And then there's a window next to a door. Hard to see the details, the colors are all warm and welcoming, are cozy though. Okay, Okay. we can interact with door, but before that there is um, another button, and I think that's plant boxes. Yeah, flower throw, uh, where n mm. nothing really grows, maybe in spring. That's very symbolic. Nothing yeah. grows here anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm just gonna try the door, and we are in a loading screen. Oh, cool, we entered a building. Yeah. And again, the, the whole fishing village is pretty run down. Yeah. And we are in a building. Um, it's rather... Oh, okay. Um, Someone's humming. Yeah, there's a child sitting in front of us, and we are partly, like, obstructing it. So this already makes me nervous. Yeah. but um, A child. <laughs> the house is actually very cozy. Oh, okay. Um, it's not creepy. Because no. a child humming in an abandoned fishing village building is totally creepy. Not at all. Yeah, um, it, that's it, not what this is. Yeah, it's pretty smallish, but um, there are multiple beds. Um, there's even a fireplace that's slowly right. glowing. Um, oh, I see. This is the haven of like safety and shelter that we're going right. to destroy. This child will be driven out uh -huh. of their home by us. <laughs> I yeah. think this is where this is going, Vincent. <laughs> we might have to do that. Yeah. And uh, multiple interactables, but um, first of all, we have a thought. Ah. It feels safe and warm in here, <laughs> not like outside. Yes. Okay, want to talk to a child? Well, do you want to click on other thought bubbles? Okay, there's another so uh, thought bubble. To get the context we need. At the fireplace. Industrial coal pellets burn with an orange glow. It is a bit weird. This is like the total RPG moment. We just walked into this house and now we're, there's a yeah. child. We're just walking around. Any, but yeah, this is, it's an RPG. Yeah. yeah. Um, and there's um, hanging from the ceiling is like a large bird. Mm, okay. And we can interact with that. And the cold mama It's uh, um, <laughs> It actually has loot. It has a roughed grouse taxidermy. And oh, we, we an actual just, object. Yeah, we can just take that. <laughs> and potentially sell it later for seven real. Cool, we're just robbing these people. Yeah, with so, such good cops. Well, you shouldn't have 
done taxidermy in the first place? <laughs> Did you even have a permit? <laughs> okay, and I think that's about it yeah. for interactable, right. apart from the child. Let's interact with the child. Hello, mister. A young girl, barely four or five years old, sits on the sofa. She's looking at you with frank curiosity. And she's so cute in the picture. Mm. It's like freckles and... Oh, crap. Lovely. She clutches a small stuffed animal. Occasionally, <laughs> she twirls it around. And we can ask, number one, where are your parents? Number two, what's this? Show her the stuffed bird you took from the ceiling. Mm. The game acknowledges our thievery. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number three, what's that thing you're holding? Pointed at her toy. Where do you want to start? Number one. Okay, where are your parents? My mom's outside. And I don't really know about my dad. Maybe he's gone. She gives you a bright smile, like it's a good thing. <laughs> okay. uh, do you remember the second name? And if that was a female? Is uh, that the I mother? I think so, yeah. Okay, yeah, that would make sense. But we didn't spot her outside, right? No, there were two other kids playing, but mm. I didn't see any adult. Oh, maybe we'll meet her. Okay, let's go on. And then we ask, what's this? And we show her the stuffed bird. Yes. It's a grouse. She yelps, smiling broadly. You might be able to get on Gart's good side if you replace the broken <gasps> skewer you almost certainly broke. Ah, we've got another stuffed bird for Gart. Mm. Stuffed bird aficionado of Martinez. Uh -huh. uh, that would not have occurred to me. So thanks, me Skill. Who was that? Empathy? Suggestion. Okay, that yeah makes sense. <laughs> this yeah. is literally a suggestion. <laughs> uh -huh. And we can ask, number one, yes, but what is it for? Mm -hmm. Number two, can I have it? I know someone who really likes stuffed birds. Man, but that's low. Oh. Like conning this five-year-old child yeah. into giving you the bird. We should ask the mother. That or just take it. <laughs> Not talk about it. Somehow that's less bad. Yeah. Anyway, you can ask her what it's for. Okay. I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, we can still say either can I have it or we can say, uh, okay, thanks. I well, just take it, I guess. Mm. I kind of want to know what she says. Ask her if we can have it. Yeah. Sure. I mean, you already took it. <laughs> I don't like it anyway. It oh. Looks angry. Oh, okay. We're helping her. We're getting removing right. bad energies from her yes. home. Okay. <laughs> in, in that case, we basically have to take it, right? Yeah. It, this is our civic duty. Yes. And well, we gain five XP and a new task takes stuff bird to guard. Yeah, I really want to know what guard says to this. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. the thing. And now we can ask about her toy. Yeah. What's that thing you're holding? Can I have it? <laughs> it's Lamy. He's my friend. <clears throat> Lamy? So, mm -hmm. Like. She holds the fuzzy beast up to demonstrate. <laughs> Lamby is a stuffed lamb <clears throat> that, admittedly, has seen better days. One of the eye buttons is missing, and the fur is tattered in several parts. Oh, game, I am not missing the subtext <laughs> here. This <laughs> subtle symbolism of the lamb that the child is holding, and the child is also the sacrificial lamb that will be killed at the altar of, of <laughs> union politics. I get it. Oh, but I don't know if we're playing this game, Vincent. I mean, we're I mean, playing we're this game, but I mean, you know what I we're mean. We're trying not to be a union man, if, yeah. even if we do average work. Not to do human sacrifice. Okay, N what else? Yeah, we have not fallen that low yet. Not yet, no. Uh, well, we can say number one, Lemmy looks like he's falling apart. Or number two, Lemmy looks soft. Or the last option, oh, okay, well, pleased to meet you, Lemmy. Last one, that's nice. That's how you would interact with a child, mm -hmm. I guess. Lammy usually doesn't like strangers, but you're also fuzzy, like Lammy. <laughs> hmm. Are we fuzzy? Well, with the sideburns and right. Green, okay. But, yeah. yeah. Okay, and that's it. Okay. And we say goodbye. Bye. All right. Anything else in this? Girl's large, curious eyes remain fixed on you, and then we end. And I think that's it. All right. Yeah, that was Make a note to tell the mother to maybe lock the door uh, in the future. Probably a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> but they're so welcoming here. Yeah. Well, head out. 
We are in the loading screen. Oh, I sorry. Outside. I can't hurry the loading screen. Yeah, I'm just looking around if I see the mother anywhere, but now there are just two children and... Oh, maybe um, there was this guy in the pipe and there are two people mm. next to him. Maybe okay. they have something. Yeah, I mean, just talking to people is fine as well. Yeah. Find out more. Oh, we have a thought. So we're standing right next to him and then we get thought. You stop mid-step and put your hand on the garish necktie. That bottle, Bratan! <laughs> just look at that bottle! What bottle does our tie refer to, Vincent? Well, the first option is where? Bottle? What? In this drunk's hand, on the pipe there, glowing blue, a mysterious, otherworldly blue, filled to the brim with holy mysteries. It's hard to know what exactly your vivid interior is speaking of here, but I'm guessing it's got a lot of alcohol in it. That's Electro. Yeah. Okay. Well, we can either say, I really don't care about any bottle. I don't want to look at it. Or we can say, okay, cool. What do I do next? Hmm. I don't want to cater to Electro, but I think it's still safe to ask what to do next. I mean, why is this bottle glowing blue, Vincent? What's going on here? I think that's not referring to it's actually glowing blue. It's just... It's an interesting item that the horrific necktie wants us to take. But, and I so mean, is there anything special about that bottle in the man's hand? It has alcohol in it. Yeah, but, you know, there's many bottles like that. Yeah. We've encountered wine bottles, other bottles. Well, Nothing that I can see. So what do you want to say? Um, I don't know. I'm <laughs> do, we, do we stay hard in our straight edge course? That's okay with me, too. Yeah, but I'm also curious with this. I'm in your boat, basically. I, I don't like electrochemistry and don't like catering to its needs, but I'm curious what what this is All about. Right, because hit okay. Yeah, the, the necktie and Inland Empire talked about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's the thing, right? Uh-huh. So what do we do next? Oh, I think this is about so much more than cool. Please go talk to him. See what it's about. I'm drawn to it. Yeah, that's fine. Uh-huh. Talking is fine. Absolutely. Okay, so let me see. There are three people here, two of them sitting next to the pipe, and in like a, a half pipe that they uh, put on the hmm. um, earth, and then one of them has like a wooden plank over it and uses it as a bank. All right. And then there's one playing in the pipe, and we can talk to either one of them. So I'm just... Okay. Which one did the necktie mean? Hey, tequila! He means that he seems to recognize us, Vincent. Yeah. Did he say tequila? Yes. Okay. And I'm, hmm, now I'm wondering because um, the portrait of the girl just now, right, was was very beautifully drawn and mm -hmm. very um, there was a very clear distinction between her face and the background, for example, uh -huh. and um, very clear lines, while his face is while the face is clear, the the background is basically. Um, yeah, it's um, running into his hairline. Oh, okay. And it's also very scattered, which would fit into the... I mean, would you describe this person as a dissolute person? A dissolute? Yeah. What does that mean? Well, would you say he is not quite put together? I think so, yeah. Yeah, so I think you are onto something here that the artist is trying to characterize this person. Yeah, I like it. Uh, so it says, uh, Hey, Tequila, a 30-something man clad in a two-piece Lycra TM tracksuit puts down his pilsner and extends his hand in greeting. All right. Good to see you. How's business? How's the whole reality situation treating you? <laughs> I like his voice, actor. Yeah. And we can either shake his hand or not shake his hand. Yeah, shake it. So what's happening? We can say, wait, tequila? Or we can leave. Wait. Yeah, tequila sunset. How are the um, high concept reality based adventures proceeding? Good. These people know your true name. <laughs> Looks like it has preceded you, Mr. Sunset. 
Who is saying we'll that? that later. Inland Empire. Ah, okay. Hmm. I like this guy. You should too. He respects you by calling you your true name. That's our true name? Man, we have so many names. <laughs> yeah. It's confusing. I, I don't know why we... Why the horrific necktie and Inland Empire just accept this name as our true name. Like we've never heard that before. And for every other name, it was always yeah. like, is that really our name? Is that, mm? I get the point that this guy might um, be onto something. Sim not because he's a drunk, though that's part of it, but mainly because he asked about how our thing with reality is, mm -hmm. which implies that he is also sort of living his life at a certain level of abstraction, which is kind of true for us as well. <laughs> mm. I, I was thinking that we just know this man and talk to him about high concept reality based adventures before. I, I, that is an alternate theory that I also like. Yeah, that we basically maybe we just got drunk with these guys mm -hmm. and had and exchanged our weird ideas. But still, I really trust Inland Empire, and so you know I want to get to know this guy more. Okay. So what else? Well, uh, we have option number one: not too hot. I'm on a fifty year losing streak. <laughs> Number two, reality. It makes me aggressively sad. Number three, don't know. People tell me I'm a cop. I'm getting used to that. Hmm. Number four, I have re-entered reality to conquer it, to bend it to my will. <laughs> I am the law. <laughs> and then the last option is leave. Yeah, he's totally, like, he's also a level above, you know? Mm -hmm. He's above the fray. And I want to... Um, take this invitation for a moment of reprieve from reality with this man mm. and okay. tell him and like talk from that place and say um, people yeah uh, people tell me I'm a cop okay that's what's going on don't know people tell me I'm a cop I'm getting used to that which is true right yeah it's good to hear that you're on top of things talking about used to did you know that I used to be a real mover and shaker he thoughtfully picks at his shit-stained Lycra TM jacket. <laughs> Sadly, things aren't going that well in Idiot Doom Spiral Land. Haven't found those keys yet, haven't won that great piece of ass back. No word from my business buddies. He takes a sip from his beer. This guy's your buddy, buddy. You feel it immediately. You belong to an organization, a fraternity of drunks. Yeah, he seems to be in a very similar spot to us. Yeah. Similar concerns. Yeah, not quite as motivated as we are at the moment, but I agree. Yeah, that's true. We got off the booze a little bit. Mm -hmm. That might help. But yeah, keep talking. First option would be, what do you guys do around here? Second is, could you and your pals sign this document? <laughs> show him Everett's letter. <laughs> okay, another option, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then the uh, <laughs> third one is, what is a tequila sunset? You keep saying it. Mm. Start with number one. What do you do? We are saving the world. He looks at his comrades. Please. Please don't call. Don't call. What is he saying? Time cop? <laughs> don't call. Oh, okay. Backs the man in the pipe. What does he mean? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Inter wait, let me just. Yeah, um, they're called the the man we have been talking to is called Idiot Doom Spiral, <laughs> and the man in the pipe is called Don't Call Abigail. <laughs> and he's also that's his wife, I guess. I'm yeah. assuming. Mm -hmm. And like, don't call her and tell her I'm a drunk. Yeah, is the okay. Nice. And his portrait is also um, dissolute, would you say? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're drinking. We're drinking alcohol. That's what we're doing. I tried to save the world once, a long time ago, with enterprise, creativity, and willpower. But that didn't work out. So now it's a pirate's life for me. All right. And we're back to the previous menu. Right, what was the next option? Um, we can ask him to assign the letter from oh, Everett. not that. After that? Uh, the, ask him about the tequila sunset. Yeah, cool. do that. It's you. 
your tequila sunset. And we ask, how do you know this? We've met before. Don't you remember? We can say either no, or we can say maybe. Hmm. I guess this is, again, we're making a choice, I guess. Let's say maybe, because no is kind of rude. Okay. Maybe you look like you want to know how Tequila Sunset came to be. You look like you want to hear the tale. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Please tell us. Tequila. Tequila Sunset. Something ominous there. Sutherland? Yeah. Okay. Well, number one would be, for some reason, the name Tequila fills me with foreboding. Maybe I shouldn't learn what it means. No, no, no. <laughs> or we can say, go ahead. Or we can say, no, this sounds scary, and we back up. Go ahead. Hmm. Up. I want to ask the, the uh, or I want to say that maybe I shouldn't learn what it means because I, I feel like we just get more information there. Okay. And then we can still go do the go ahead. You think you feel bad now? Wait till you've heard the story. No, no. You need the wisdom. Okay, so let's try go ahead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me take a sip to moisten up my cords. Tequila Sunset rolled into Martinez last Friday. And by Tequila Sunset, I mean you. The man, the myth. And we can ask, wait, did we meet on Friday? Or we can say, was I alone? Mm. But it's, uh, to take the wait option. Always the wait. Yeah. Hey, let's not jump ahead of ourselves. This is your story. Stop interrupting. All right. He takes another sip. Then continues. You got here on Friday to solve a case, hoping to be the early bird who gets the worm. And by the worm, I mean the buzz. Because as far as I know, all you did was get pissed drunk. Well, we kind of already knew that. Huh. Honestly, for a second there, I was wondering if we were actually... Like, if when we arrived, we weren't pissed drunk. But probably not. Well, we might have not been, but then we got drunk, apparently. Yeah. That's for sure. Word on the street is you went around the local hostel telling people that you're a police officer and that it would be really fucked up if you shot yourself in the head <laughs> right in front of them. That's pretty high concept, if you ask me. Yeah, I, I remember that it hasn't come up in a while. But remember with the lady that we harassed mm -hmm. and like she was like, oh, you were like flaunting your gun around and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That was the Sorry Cobble episode. It was very sorry. Mm -hmm. For sure. Oh yeah, that's totally your style. Is that inland? I like your chemistry. Oh, okay. The lieutenant's brow is furrowed. He's listening as casually as he can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, he, well, I think he has heard this before, if he overheard our interactions with his radio. Mm -hmm. But sure, it's painful. Yeah. And we can say, number one, please, continue. Number yeah. two. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, not the first time this comes up. And we <laughs> cough awkwardly. Or we can say, yeah, sure, I did that thing. What of it? Mm. What do you want to say? I feel like they're sort of all the same. Yeah, I, I just want to stay, take the neutral route and please continue. Yeah. It was a late Saturday night when we, the union of moribund alcoholics, were getting our drink on. <laughs> Nothing remarkable about this. We get our drink on 24-7. Makes everything warm and glowy. I trust you know the feeling. Oh, yes, you do, Bratushka. The only thing better than that is putting the pedal to the metal after you kiss the tie. And off we go. <laughs> I like this guy. Yeah. He hasn't come up in, like, for the first half of the game, it feels like. And now he's there all the time. Yeah. Maybe huh. the drunks really um, resonate with him. Either that or it's like an addition from the final cuts change. Uh, that's it. possible. Yeah, I don't know about that. Also, the, the drunk guy we're talking to seems really, really lucid for drinking 24 hours. Yeah. Very well spoken. But all right. Let's continue. One moment we hear the sound of a motor carriage revving up somewhere on the plaza, followed by a series of dings and bangs. <laughs> Do you remember the sound of wood cracking? The billboard? 
Naturally, loud noises pique the interest of anybody owning a pair of ears. That's just the reality we're in. And we can say, naturally. Or we can say, um, I want to get off this story train right now. No, no. We face up to it, Harry. So, naturally. Yeah. Anyway, there was a brief silence. A gasp of silence, if you will. Followed by a real commotion. We heard the carriage careening towards the coast at top speed. Sounded like someone jumped the canal. We grabbed our brewskis and rushed to the jetty. Never underestimate the speed of an alcoholic. <laughs> what we saw was a sight to behold. A beat up police carriage containing you. Right there on the beach, you revved the engine and screamed at the top of your lungs. <laughs> the time hath come. So, naturally, being the curious cat I am, I asked what time hath come, <laughs> to which you replied... I'm sorry, I keep wanting to say that he's a good storyteller. I'm riveted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Keep going. The time hath come for tequila sunset, <laughs> the end of all things. <laughs> I can really imagine Harry doing that. Yeah, absolutely. And I can totally see him immediately becoming tequila sunset. I, nobody would yeah. argue with this man. <laughs> no. I mean, remember how what we looked like in the flared pants and yeah. our sideburns and jacket? Mm-hmm. <laughs> the time has come. <laughs> yeah. The end you of all go, things. You go, tequila. All right, continue. Uh, okay, well, we have, we have a decision to make. Mm. We can say, number one, oh, God, what happened next? Or we can say, say nothing. It's more dignified that way. Or we can say, every word I said was true. Tequila sunset will break the looms of reality. <laughs> that seems a bit deranged. Do you mm. want to say nothing? Mm. Kind of don't want to interrupt his flow. Okay. No. Yeah. After which, your reality contracted. You jammed the pedal, plowed right off the jetty, and through the ice. Your hands cramp on the steering wheel. We ran towards the ice whilst you crawled your way out, miraculously unhurt, covered in seaweed and shit, <laughs> like some kind of sea monster. When we finally got there, you were sitting on the beach crying. You said that your badge and uniform were in the car. It was too late to get in there, though. The carriage had sunk too deep. Recognizing a brother in need, we offered our condolences and invited you to party with us, which you naturally agreed to. <laughs> we asked about the whole tequila sunset thing, and you told us it was your name now and insisted <laughs> that we all call you that from then on. Okay. Well, we have a wait option. We can say, wait, so is tequila sunset an event or a name? All right, let's ask. I'm not sure. I think you were the event tequila sunset you know as opposed to a tequila sunrise which is long gone this is heavily implying that this was an attempted suicide on the part of harry yeah the uh, uh car crash you know because sunset such an ending motif the tequila covers the whole drinking stuff mm -hmm. so, yeah okay. I'm, I'm just hmm. what surprises me about this whole thing is that um it it sounds like he was attempting suicide. He, it was just a terrible, terrible plan for it. Sure, which and often happens, I would say. Right, and he was also not. He doesn't. He does, didn't seem convinced. I mean, he. Yeah, he was conflicted. Yeah, and he immediately yeah. got out of the car and crawled back to the um, beach. And uh, yeah, it may have been partially a cry for help, which yeah. luckily a bunch of drunks uh, listened to. That's a good very point, yeah. uh, compassionate and apparently very fast drunks, <laughs> as he was eager to point out. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> and we can either say, number one, tequila sunset, huh? Sounds pretty good. Or number two, that's not my name. I'm Rafael Ambrosius Cristo. Well, that's also a delusion, Harry. That's God, it's so hard to me. keep in touch with reality. Or is there another option? The last option is my real name is Harry. Vincent, what do we say? 
We see in this playthrough. <laughs> we say we're Harry. Yeah. I, I really, yeah. really, really want to do the <laughs> yeah. Raphael Ambrosius Custod playthrough, though. It feels like that's the completely delusional playthrough, the just out of touch madness playthrough. And then there's also the Tequila Sunset playthrough, which sounds a bit depressing because it's really just that's the self destructive to turn to 11 playthrough, right? Yeah. But at the same time, I'm wondering if that would also be also fit the apocalyptic cop. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, maybe that's the mm -hmm. name for the apocalyptic playthrough and Raphael is the name for the superstar playthrough. Mm, yeah. Maybe they that's all have point. names. Huh. Interesting. We maybe I'm, out for that. I'm starting to get a handle on the alignment system in this game. <laughs> yeah, after, what, 40 episodes? <laughs> yeah, I still don't quite get it. But <laughs> Shut up. Tell him our name, Vincent. Yeah. Harry. My real name is Harry. No, that's just what your mother called you. Your real name is Tequila Sunset. Just embrace it, brother. See, that's where we maybe maybe have to part ways with these guys. Mm -hmm. Well, we still have a question to ask. Yeah, sure. How long did we party for? Yeah, okay. Hours. It was an all-night drinkathon. Then, at some point, I think it was Sunday morning, you got belligerent and wanted to talk about Revacholian women. Oh. How they're beautiful and also whores and so on. How one of them fucked you real bad. After mm. a short while, you crossed the event horizon, looked sullen, got up and left without saying anything. What? what there was a noise. What was that? We lost one point of morale. Ah, okay. Yeah, makes sense. Because... It well, but every, because every, of trauma, I mean, last yeah. time we heard this even touched, like we blacked out. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, we are doing better. Sure. Wow. That's quite a story. Yeah. I bet Tequila's a fucking legend around the precinct. <laughs> you must be proud to work with him. <laughs> and we are, right? We are. <laughs> well, let's hear what Kim has to say. If you only knew. <laughs> <laughs> That's a clever response. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, we have a lot of options here, and it ends with a conclude option. Mm -hmm. So the first one is, did I tell you anything specific about the person that fucked me? Mm. The second one, did I mention losing anything else? Mm -hmm. Number three, did I say anything about my colleagues? Number four, did I say anything about the case? Mm -hmm. Number five, did we talk about uh, politics? And number th <laughs> six... Did you get a read on what kind of cop I was? <laughs> Our copper type, please. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's go through all of them. From the top, Vincent. The hardest topic first. Did I tell you anything specific about this person that fucked me up? You were pretty vague about it, but you kept saying you got fucked real hard and that we've all been fucked too. Please, don't open that door. <laughs> oh, this time we lost health. Yeah, we keep losing shit. Who just talked? Inland? Inland, yeah. Yeah, but inland, I know what you really want. Mm hmm. And yeah. We but although maybe we're not ready, it's tough. What do we do? At least we still have full. I mean, we started with conversation with full stats, right? Health yeah. and morale. Yeah, okay. But yeah, I mean, the last time, even when we blacked out at the ledger, we learned a lot, right? Yeah, it ended up being fine. We didn't die. And inland has. It does this thing, like, remember when it told us not to go and through mm -hmm. the trash? Yeah. It still kind of kind of wants us to do it, I think. Yeah, it's just trying to protect us, but we I are mean, if it, protection. The thing is, if it really doesn't want us to do it, then it would just not mention it at all, right? It's Anything that gets a reaction out of Inland must be investigated. Yeah, I agree. So, what do we say? We can only continue here. Okay, we'll see. No one's fucked me. I do the fucking around here. Huh, that's the third of the group. Oh, he's, a third one, okay. Yeah, he's called Rosemary. <laughs> okay. Abigail. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed pretty painful, to be honest with you. If I had to guess, I'd say you're still working through some shit. Mm. Okay, we're back to the previous menu. Oh, okay. So... So the door has closed, closed on its own, okay, I guess. For, for now, now, yeah. So the second one. Did I mention losing anything else? Beside your gun and your badge? 
You said something about your hope or heart or something. <laughs> to be honest, the details are a little hazy. In retrospect, I guess you lost your motor carriage too. That's a big one. He has this yeah. constant undertone of aloof sarcasm, mm. but in a di very different way from Gart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gart is <th> Gart adds in the the aspect that he doesn't like us. <laughs> Yeah. This guy seems at least roughly friendly. Yeah, and he also seems to really just like telling stories. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he likes to hear himself talk, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's keep him talking. Yeah, but let's ask about colleagues. You told us that they were a bunch of fucking losers whose main interest was cramping your style. <laughs> that sounds like us, yes. Yeah. It's more like you were cramping this. Mm. Who's saying that? Empathy. Oh, okay. No specifics, though. It was more about you that night. You were the star of the show. Yes, our problem is narcissism, first and foremost. Mm -hmm. And now we ask about the case. Yeah, you said it was no biggie and that you'd solve it in no time. And that you didn't need anyone to do it. You're doing it solo now. Oh, is Kim gonna comment? A lot of cops go solo and hermit mm -hmm. once they reach that level of alcoholism. <laughs> so he makes it sound like this is a oh, common thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Maybe the RCM should investigate that. Well, anyway. It's not meant as a joke. He's sorry for the hermit cop. Oh. Is that a copper type? <laughs> There's a lot of copper types, apparently. Uh, is that empathy? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm wondering that because in the text it's capitalized, Hermit Cop. Yeah, Kim is certainly right now uh, playing Sorry Cop. Mm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Well, second to last question, politics. Yeah, you said that you'd really behaved unreasonably and failed to uphold your responsibilities as a representative of the coalition. I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, me neither. I mean, I guess we are a representative for the RCM. Yeah, but I just, I also just don't remember all the politics stuff. Yeah, me neither. So the last question: Did you get a read on what I, what kind of cop I was? You kept apologizing <laughs> for being such a bad cop and for the damage you've inflicted on everyone around you. Do you think this answer is dependent on, you know, what your couple type scores are? Actually, I'm right now wondering if we are all of them or were all of them. What do you mean? Because <clears throat> we had the whole tequila sunrise, which we equated to the apocalyptic cop. Yeah. Um, we have now the sorry cop. And then um, just now we had the, not the hermit cop, but there was some other... Oh, okay. You think that in these various conversation options, he has given examples that are emblematic for all of the copper types. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Where was Superstar Cop? Um, uh, maybe it was the, the cramping of style. That's true. His yeah. main interest was cramping your style. Yeah, yeah, okay. You might be right. Yeah. Which is a bit sad because then it's not so dynamic and the game doesn't quite you know, respond to what you're doing. But uh, it might, might be the case. We gotta hmm. test it out in another playthrough, I think. Yeah. I mean, I, I also like the idea that we used to be all of them, and that was that was sort of at the, the end of the, our problematic yeah. personality, right? That we just didn't know who we were at that point. Uh, but let's continue and see where this goes. You also kept pausing to knock the heel of your hand against your temples, saying, stupid, stupid, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> oh, Harry. Yeah. He is kind of sad. Well, there's only one option left. Mm -hmm. You can conclude by All saying, right. I don't need to hear anymore. It's a hard thing for a man to confront his past. That's why I avoid mine at all costs. <laughs> well, we gained another 5 XP for yeah, that. Yeah, that's all right. Didn't actually end up learning that much from this conversation, but that's fine. Yeah, well... And we are back to the first menu. We can either show him Everett's letter, we can leave, mm. or there's a new option that says, you seem like you're 
characterized by your storytelling ability. Oh, look. Want to yeah. tell me another one sometime? Yeah, ask. whoop de doo So now I'm a fucking storyteller. Right. Why not? Better than a beach bum. Okay, and we can still leave by saying, no, actually, I've heard enough stories for a lifetime. They suck. Oh, no, it's S-U-C-K. Spelled out. Goodbye. And we can also say, yes, want to tell me how you became Idiot Doom Spiral? Yeah, go ahead. It depends, really. Are you willing to help me out? Is that, is that a quest? Sure, I'll take XP. The gleam in his eyes and the slout in his posture is so incredibly familiar. Is that, what is that, empathy? Electrochemistry. Oh, yeah, okay, with the drunk. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, I'll, 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 I'll take a good side quest, sure. And we can ask. You want booze, don't you? <laughs> or we can say, what do you need? Ask. And remember, we have actually a bottle of wine, I think. This might be a enjoy. quick side quest, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> you want booze, don't you? No, what? No, ask him. Don't make assumptions. No, okay. So what do you need? Booze. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you already forget our party? <laughs> the thing I relayed to you earlier. So, have you got anything for good old idiot Doom Spiral? Sure. A bottle for a story. Seems fair to me. Yeah, and we can just... We can either give him a sweet Commodore Red, mm. or we can lie that we don't have one, or we can mm. say, I don't want to give you any alcohol. I'm not an enabler, and don't do it now. The, mm, well, I see the point, but I want to hear the story and get the XP. And also, you can't just go cold turkey on alcohol. That can literally kill you. So I think we have to provide this man a service of kindness. Yeah, okay. Give him a bottle. Classy. He snatches the bottle and pushes the cork in through the bottleneck. <laughs> oh, <What>? man. <laughs> That's rough, man. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> he, yeah, I was right, I think. He really needs this. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hey, Spiral Boy. You gonna share that? One of the other bums interjects. Why did he call him? Spiral Boy? Oh, yeah, yeah. because of the Doom Spiral. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't call Abigail. Shut up, guys. I'm telling a story here. <laughs> Something happened to you. Something happened to me, too. My actual name is George. But around here, you already know. I was once a reasonably high net worth individual. A founder slash junior partner at a high concept creative services agency. When my story begins, I had just landed a major contract with an insurance firm. Hmm. Uh, that, okay, that last bit doesn't fit, but I was going to say that I, I'm going to guess that this guy maybe headed the role-playing game company mm -hmm. that we found in the business district. But with the insurance company, that doesn't fit anymore. Yeah, no, I, I was thinking the same. <laughs> I used the profits from my agency to finance what I called a cultural incubator. Okay. Abstract value generation, value per person, high concept stuff. Uh, that makes no sense. <laughs> but he guess he's right, high concept. Mm -hmm. I developed the paradigm, worked within the paradigm, but the burden of leadership weighed heavily on me. So I went jogging every so often to keep myself sane. We have a weight option. Wait, how many people did you have working on, uh, for mm -hmm. you? Sure. 22 full-time employees, an all-star team, a potentially historical set of individuals. Worrying about them often kept me up well into the morning hours. Mm -hmm. And we can either say, did the jogging help? Or we can say, I could probably use a good run myself. Did the jogging help? It did. With my trusty Sansarik tracksuit, I felt like I could conquer the world. But now dreams are worn thin, much like my tracksuit. He says, thoughtfully, brushing dust off his shit-stained pants. <laughs> and we ask, what happened? One day I left on my evening run, 
As you may know, it's impossible to clear your head when you're distracted by the sound of keys jangling in your pockets. He shakes the bottle and makes a ringing sound. His eyes are clouded. His dilated blood vessels encircle in his irises like stinging brambles. Who, who is this? Pain threshold? No. Endurance? No. Tell me. It's perception. Oh, yeah. Makes sense. Hmm. His eyes are your eyes. Hmm. Hey. We got healed. Oh. For one morale. And we gained 10 XP because it's concept show. Right. Cool. So I removed the key ring and put the keys for the front gate and the apartment into different pockets to stop the jangling, you see. At least, that was the plan. I was halfway done with my usual lap when it started to rain. The reality situation became very wet, very quickly. And we can ask, how wet are we talking exactly? Or we can just say, go on. <laughs> no, how wet? It was a day not unlike this one here. You both glanced skyward. Hmm. I made my way back home and discovered that I didn't have the key to the front gate. I'd mixed it up with the key to the letterbox, which was useless. Oh no. Naturally, the situation required me to climb over the gate, which I did. There was no climbing down because I slipped and landed on my ass. And we can say, ouch. Or we can say, I would have landed on my feet. I've got feline reflexes. Is he going to discover his wife is cheating on him or something? Mm. I, sorry, I keep wondering where the story is going. Yeah, me too. But I was thinking more along the line that he, he's just bullshitting. <laughs> and this is just an excuse to explain <laughs> how he got... Um, the shitty tracksuit? <laughs> yeah, and also like he tried to break into a house and this is his explanation. Right, yeah, okay. <clears throat> I like your theory, Vincent. So sorry, what do we say? Uh, there's also a third option, so we can say "ouch." We could have say uh, we can say "I would have landed on my feet." I've got feline reflexes, or we can say nothing. Uh, say "ouch." Ouch, indeed. Reality was looking rather grim just then. Me lying on my ass in a mud pit in the middle of a heavy shower. But when life knocked me down, I always got up. <laughs> so I made my way across the yard. Standing in front of my apartment door, fumbling with my pockets, I realized that I'd also forgotten my apartment key. And we can say, you've got to be shitting me. Or we can say, okay, so what happened next? you got to be shitting. I wish I were, Tequila. I <laughs> wish I were. <laughs> Instead of my apartment key, I'd taken the key to the office. Okay, mm. so what happened next? I rang my neighbor's buzzers. It was late, and most of them didn't even answer. Those who did assumed I was trying to sell them something and hung up before I could even explain the situation. People are naturally wary of ad men, you see. One moment someone chats you up, five minutes later you've bought a box of edible lingerie and a strap-on. <laughs> I don't begrudge them, especially since I was known to be one of the best. Mm. It pauses meaningfully. Mm -hmm. I gotta say, I've never had a salesman actually try to sell me edible ling uh, lingerie and strap on. No, that would seem really cheeky, but I guess it's a joke. Yeah, hopefully. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. Mm. Who's saying that? Empathy. Okay. Just then, I experienced a moment of clarity. I still <clears throat> had the key to my office, I could wait out the storm there. But when I reached my office, I remembered that I'd asked one of my producers to change the locks that day. <laughs> and since I hired only the best, he'd already done it, and I couldn't get in. Seriously. All the doors are closed to this guy. Mm -hmm. Anyway, long story short, life spiraled out of control. <laughs> I haven't gotten into my apartment for years, <laughs> and my girlfriend left me because she didn't want to date a homeless man. <laughs> the company, well, you see where I'm going with this. <laughs> that, that, I feel story. like there's a couple <laughs> steps missing. I feel like the key situation could have been resolved. Yeah. I mean, maybe the next day? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, okay. What the hell? I guess, though, he has proven that he's a storyteller. Mm -hmm. A story it is. So, 
now you've heard my tragic tale. <laughs> what do you think? Like nothing you've ever heard, huh? Yeah, what do we think? Well, we have a wait option. Wait, is that it? I feel like there are some steps missing. The man, the game. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> this keeps happening. But usually it doesn't happen verbatim. Uh -huh. Where it literally predicts every word I'm going to say. But okay. I, I guess we do live in a simulation, Vincent. Mm -hmm. Let's say, wait. There's Tequila, something missing. I've thought about this series of events for a long time. If there was anything else to it, I would have thought of it by now. Why didn't you go to the authorities? Well, at one point they came to me, but, you know, I, I didn't have any ID on me. So they tossed me in jail for two days. Are you serious? I can't say it increased my faith in the RCM. No offense, gentlemen. Uh, well, okay, if, if any of this ever happened to anyone, I just... It makes no sense. Yeah. This is a complete fabrication. It's not even worth engaging on that level. Stop it, Harry. <laughs> what the hell? Well, uh, we can say number one. I'm almost homeless myself. Doesn't seem too bad. <laughs> I would not really, but okay. Uh, um, I guess he said almost. Yeah. I mean, we do we have an apartment? Well, we I mean, had one. Guard is providing us with regular accommodation and Very we nice. just now scored a place in the fishing village <laughs> yeah. that we can yeah. stay in for free kind of so yeah, yeah. well uh, we c can also say number two look on the bright side you've got one hell of a story or number three you do realize all of this is your own fault i don't and say that the last one i literally can't believe it <laughs> yeah that's my reaction i want to say that okay me neither tequila <laughs> when I lost my keys, I lost more than access to my apartment. I also lost my leverage over humanity. I wasn't a high-concept creative director anymore. Mm. I was just some homeless asshole with a premium Sansari Likra tracksuit. I guess that's his point? Wait, wait he didn't see the, say the TM. That's oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, the yeah. point here is... The moral of the story is your identity is your key to reality. That's what unlocks it. Hmm. Right? His identity of being a high concept creative manager or whatever. Yeah. And he lost it and now nothing makes sense anymore. Can't unlock it. Guess. And maybe this is his phantasmagorical way of explaining that with the keys mm -hmm. as a stand-in for his identity. And we're supposed to just fill in what actually happened for him to lose his identity who knows right mm -hmm. maybe there was alcoholism involved or whatever various possibilities but that's what i'm taking away from this guy and i know he's not ready to talk about the actual details yet but i can still very much empathize with the situation because yeah it's very similar to harry <laughs> hmm. yeah that's a great point you can't imagine what that does to a man's confidence Anyway, that was all the story one bottle gets you. Almost empty, this one. Mm, that's very poetic. He al wait, he already finished the yeah, fucking... Uh, oh, Jesus what? Christ. <laughs> man. I mean, it's not just the alcohol. That's a lot of fluids, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. If I could drink like that, yeah, sure, I'd push the cork into the bottle. Who gives a fuck? Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's no time to get the corkscrew. Screw. Well, I mean, I I would have expected other techniques, sure. But you know you can do stuff like hit the ball with a shoe and stuff. Sure. Maybe they don't have shoes. I, I'm making assumptions, I guess. No, they do have shoes, but yeah, okay. it would take even longer. It does take a bit, yeah. Well, we are back to the very first menu again with right. new options. So we can, <laughs> oh. we can still ask about uh, Everett's letter. But yeah. we now have the option to say, why do you keep losing all your stuff? Or we can say... I want to hear the story of in your name again. Or have but, you got hmm. any more stories? That's all new options? Yeah. Oh my god. Um, why do you keep losing your stuff, I guess? Mm -hmm. We can say that. And I think for the other ones, we need more alcohol, right? Oh, that's a very good possibility, yeah. So let's ask about the losing stuff. Good fucking question, Tequila. <laughs> if I knew the answer, you think I'd be hanging out on a beach in this formerly premium but now extremely dirty 
two-piece Lycra tracksuit. It's Lycra TM. I used to own my reality situation. My business buddies and I had our own creative services agency. I had a nice apartment, an even nicer piece of ass. But somehow it all got away from me. Now I can't hang on to anything. Just last week I stole this nice new jacket, but then I lost it too. The only things I haven't lost are these two drunks. <laughs> you of all people should empathize with this. Perhaps this lost jacket is something you could help with? Yeah, I was wondering if we've already found it, maybe. Hmm. I mean, we keep finding a bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we can ask about uh, the name of the agency. We can ask about the tracksuit. Hmm. One can ask, what about the other drunks? And we can ask, what's this about a lost jacket? Are, are there two, two questions about the jacket? Anyway, take it from the top. No, there's one about the tracksuit and one about the jacket. Oh, okay, I see. So, name of the agency. My agency. Now. The Boom Boom Room. <laughs> Our concept was combining wow. high art with the lowest forms of marketing. <laughs> the color red, breasts, and oil painting. <laughs> wow. Wow, okay. that sounds amazing. That sounds exactly where we as an art cop could mm. um, really contribute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll be right at home. Yeah. I convinced my partners to reinvest some of our profits in an even more high-concept cultural incubator called Thin Air. <laughs> the artists were happy. The clients were happy. So, what, sounds good. What exactly is a cultural incubator? Well, I'll, I'll tell you exactly what it is, Vincent, but not right now. Let's continue. <laughs> okay. I was financing a group of poets in East Rebishal who were developing a new universal poetic language. <laughs> but is... then it all went to shit. <laughs> this is so full of shit, yeah. <laughs> sounds intriguing. What say you, Art Cop? Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. a conceptualization. Yeah, yeah. yeah another nice. 10xp. If it sounds like it makes no sense, that's because it doesn't. <laughs> Who's saying that? Logic. <laughs> of course, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can see those two being at odds, conceptualization mm -hmm. and logic. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. We can say, number one, mixing oil painting and breasts to make ads isn't high art. It's just cynical wankery. The number two is, that's so high concept, I have no idea what it means. Number three, man, mixing high and low, commodifying culture, that is extremely my shit. <laughs> and number four, right, okay, never mind that I asked. Hmm, I do like mixing high and low. It does, that does appeal to me, but I don't know if that's the right thing, like I'm talking about me. I don't mm -hmm. know if that's the right thing for Harry. Uh, I wonder if the first one is the most art cop option because we're actually being a, an art critic, which was like a huge aspect of that thought, right? Hmm. Uh, but conceptualization said sounds intriguing. What say you, art cop? And yeah, I would, but I mean, it's asking us. Yeah, but I would, I would say that the uh, mixing high and low commodifying culture. This is extremely my shit. Would fit that more? It also fits it, yeah. So let's say that. Mm -hmm. All right. I know. It was <laughs> fucking awesome. We got an achievement. Too bad I went on a jog, unleashing a cascade of doom that washed it all away. This was the first time that this guy didn't sound sarcastic. He actually got like, genuinely excited about something. Yeah. What's the achievement? Uh, it's already gone. But oh, okay. something about art. We can look at it later. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Then we can ask about the tracksuit, the oh, other drunks, okay. and the lost jacket. Yeah, yeah. Go on. Tracksuit. What? You've never seen 100% Lycra before? <laughs> Go on. Feel that primo material. The man extends his arm. You really shouldn't touch it. <laughs> Who's saying that? half light. Okay. Do, do we touch it or just say, yeah. I'll just admire it from afar? Thanks. I don't know what Half Light's problem is, but touch it. Okay. Pretty nice, huh? 
This might be one of the last of its kind. Should probably be in a museum, honestly. He takes another sip. Good God. It's nearly impossible to describe how dirty this texture is. It's like rubbing two jellyfish skins together. <laughs> oh my God. 15% that... less human for having touched it. <laughs> we actually lost one morale. Holy shit. But there was a check involved. It was an interfacing impossible failure. <laughs> interfacing is a weird skill that I don't quite understand. I like the jellyfish image. I'll remember that. Yeah. Wow. The difficulty was 18. Mm, that's quite impossible. Yeah. Kind of makes me want to play a playthrough with like super high interfacing. Yeah. To see what that does. Uh huh. Okay. I would be on board with that. Randomized trials have also found Licra TM to be associated yes, with a number you. of exotic, highly malignant cancers. So mm. you also have that to look forward to. <laughs> I don't think this limited exposure will increase our cancer risk. Probably not. And it is Lycra TM. I knew it. Uh, you seem to care about this, about trademark uh, law very much, Vincent. Because I congratulate you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it just, it says it in the text and he just I know. glances it over. It was inconsistent. Uh, yeah. It would irk me as well. And then there's the smell. But you don't even want to think about that. Yeah, it kept saying it's shit stained, which seems very ex extreme. But mm -hmm. I guess um, people are in various states of disarray when they become alcoholics. Oh yeah. Wow, you're lucky. He never lets me feel it. <laughs> I wonder are, why. Are we the lucky one or are you the lucky one? Yeah. I don't know. That's because your paws are fucking filthy, Rosie. <laughs> We're right next to the bay. You could wash them any time. Okay, well, next one uh, question is about the other drunks. Uh -huh. My fellow members of the Union of Moribund Alcoholics, they're exactly what they look like. Hey, tequila, you want to buy some speed? <laughs> <laughs> Electro coming up? Mm -hmm. Huh? Shut the fuck up, Rosemary. He's a cop, remember? Oh, right, uh, there is that. <laughs> I thought he was a cool cop. Don't call up a guy. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is so fucked up. And this is Abs. So yeah, that's basically us. We drink together. Okay. It's good to have community. Yeah. That leaves only the lost jacket. Tequila, it's a verifiable tragedy. It was practically brand new. Sure, it didn't really go with my Lycra threads, but it did itch a lot less. <laughs> hmm. Say, you're a detective, right? Maybe you can help old Doom spiral out. Solve the case of the missing jacket. What do you say, Tequila? I say Lieutenant Harry is on the case. Well, we do have a wait option before that. Oh, okay. We, we can ask. Wait, you're asking a police officer to help find a jacket you stole and then lost? Oh, there is that. I, I didn't see it that way. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, ask it because it's a wait option. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're here to serve, right? Okay, and we can say, I don't have time for this. Or we say, okay, sure. Where do you lose it? Yeah. If I knew where I lost it, don't you think I'd have it? Mm. I mean, maybe I was up by the boardwalk or walking along the beach or checking out the abandoned fish market. Okay, those are places we will check. That's a lot of places, we say. Three. Somewhere north of here, that's for sure. Okay. You could ask around, see if anyone's seen it. I mean, he didn't give us anything, though. We don't know what it looks like. We mm. don't know what make it is. It's a jacket. I mean, I think it would be pop. it would pop out if you saw it around here, right? We have, like, four jackets in our inventory right now. Well, but one he would wear... I don't know. What is he? It's not going to be a blazer. It's not going to be a, a police commander jacket. Fair. Yeah. Well, we'll see. I'm sure we will recognize it once we okay. see it. Okay. So let me ask you something else and we conclude. I'm all ears, Tequila. Okay. So we can ask about the letter from Everett. We can say something about the story of your name again. Or we ask about more stories. But I think that's it for now, right? Uh, you don't want to interact more with this guy? I'm assuming that he needs more alcohol for more stories. Well, but we can find out. I okay. mean, ask him about the name. The Do the option where you ask about the story again, because I think that will elicit probably a quick response. I don't know why that's there. 
Okay. What's in a name? He looks up at the sky as if pondering the question, then turns back to you. Hey, Spiral Boy, you gonna share that? One of the other bumps interjects. Don't call Abigail. Shut right. up, guys. I'm telling a story. Oh, he's here. just gonna repeat it. Okay. Something happened to you. Something happened to me too. Yeah, I think my actual just... name is right. George. Right. Okay. I'm but just around gonna here, it. yeah, please. Do. I was once a reasonably high net worth oh, wait, individual. Wait. Um, second thought. I found heard enough. So you don't want to just oh. hear the same story again? <laughs> yeah, actually. Yeah, okay. exactly. Okay. Sorry, I know it's a bit rude. Huh. He looks taken aback. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm hoped, yeah, it is not relevant. I guess the story is so important for some reason that, you know, the game gives you the option to just hear it yeah. again in case and you missed it. I have to say, I like that this RPG acknowledges the fact that sometimes RPGs just repeat yeah. or let you repeat dialogue and don't acknowledge that it's a repeat. And this yeah. one is acknowledging it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's good stuff. So, the uh, last one though. To uh, have you got any more stories? We'll see. I do. But as you can see, my fuel tank is running quite low. <laughs> if you catch my drift. Well, it's a good thing that there's another thing to do with alcohol that you find except drink it. Yeah. And we can only say, I don't have any on me right now. Yeah. Or we can say, geez, I already gave you some. I don't want to keep doing that. No, no, just say you don't have any. Cotton mouth is keeping my tongue imprisoned. <laughs> okay. And then we You leave. too, tequila sunset. All right. So, yeah, we learned a lot, I guess. We have some tasks and um, also another possibility to do the Everett thing. Mm -hmm. Fake the signature by, these, uh, by this high concept individual. Yeah. This, yeah, this champion of conceptualization. Um, uh -huh. If you, dear viewer, are also a champion of conceptualization, why not leave a comment? Uh, some high concept commentary, perhaps. <laughs> uh, thank you, Vincent, for reading to me so wonderfully and well, playing through the game with me. It's always a blast. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, yeah, you can uh, uh, like and subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Twitter at makes underscore play. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.